Saving the configuration on your Sierra router is a good idea once you have everything set up for your network. Sierra calls this a template and it can be backed up should you ever need to factory reset your device and restore the settings. We'll show you how to do all that in this video. Start by logging into your Sierra router. Click on the template button at the top. This is both where we can back up our settings as well as restore them with a file. We can give our template a simple name and then click download to save it to our computer. Be aware that you may get an alert that pop up is blocked like I'm seeing here using Google Chrome. I have it allow the pop-up to be permitted and then click download again and the file finally saved. Now that the configuration is saved, I can close this window and go to the admin tab. I'll click reset on the left to get to the factory reset options. The reset configuration here lets you select how the ACE manager reset to factory default button behaves. The different options determine the types of settings that are reset and the types of settings that are preserved after the router resets. The first option is to reset all. All settings, including network settings and passwords, are returned to the factory default values on reset to factory default. After clicking reset to factory default, a confirmation message appears. After confirming that you want to continue, a warning appears, notifying you that passwords will be reset. Next option is preserve only user password. All settings except the user password are returned to the factory default values on reset to factory default. Lastly, you have the option to preserve course settings. This is the default selection. Setting the reset configuration to preserve course settings preserves some predetermined settings that enable the router to stay online after a reset to factory default. The network settings that are preserved includes the user password and more which you can find in the device's software configuration guide. We're going to leave the default option and then click the reset to factory default button to proceed. An alert will pop up to confirm we truly want to proceed. Click OK and the device will start the reset process and reboot. After the reboot, we'll log back in and show you how to restore our configuration file. We'll click on the template button, and this time we're going to click choose file and find the XNL file we downloaded earlier. Click upload followed by the reboot button and then OK to start the restoration process. That's all there is to it. For more instructional videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel.